Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. So today we will see how to create Redis cluster in AWS using Terraform. So in this video, we are going to cover how to create Elastic Cache Redis cluster in AWS using Terraform. So in this video, you will discover how to set up an Amazon Elastic Cache Redis cluster using Terraform. The best part is all the steps we will cover can be done without incurring any extra cost because they are eligible for free tier. So first we will see what is Amazon Elastic Cache. Amazon Elastic Cache is a caching as a service from Amazon Web Services. AWS simplifies setting up, managing, and scaling a distributed in-memory cache environment in the cloud. It provides a high-performance, scalable, and cost-effective caching solution. AWS removes the complexity associated with deploying and managing a distributed caching environment. Amazon Elastic Cache is a fully managed in-memory data store service provided by Amazon Web Services. It is designed to enhance the performance and scalability and applications by providing a managed caching solution. So key features of Amazon Elastic Cache are first, managed caching. Elastic Cache handles the complex tasks of setting up, configuring, and managing caches in caching infrastructure. Second, in-memory data stores. Elastic Cache supports two popular in-memory data store engines. Memcache, Memcache uh, is a simple and fast caching engine that supports a simple key, value data storage, and retrieval. It is ideal for use cases where you need high-speed caching with minimal complexity. Second is Redis. Redis is a highly versatile open source in-memory data store that supports more advanced data structures such as sorted cells, hashes, and this. It is often used for caching, real-time analytics, and as a message group. Scalability. Elastic Cache allows you to easily scale your cache cluster vertically by selecting different resource types and horizontally by adding or removing cache nodes. Automatic failover. Redis cluster in Elastic Cache can be configured with automatic failover. If a primary node fails, Elastic Cache automatically promotes a read replica to the primary role, minimizing downtime. Backup and restores. Elastic Cache provides the ability to take manual snapshots of your cache clusters. You can use these snapshots to restore your cache data or clone cache clusters. Now we will see what is Elastic Cache Redis in AWS. So imagine you have a computer program or a website that needs to remember things quickly. It could be information like usernames, passwords, or any data that needs to be accessed rapidly. Now sometimes storing and retrieving this information from a regular computer memory can take time. So Amazon Elastic Cache Redis is a fully managed in-memory data store service provided by Amazon Web Services. It is based on the popular open source service database and is designed to deliver fast and scalable performance for real-time applications. A Redis cluster consists of multiple nodes, which are individual instances of the Redis engine. Nodes can have different roles, such as master or replica. Redis is an in-memory data store, meaning that it stores and retrieves data entirely in RAM. Redis is built on the popular open source Redis database. Redis is known for its simplicity, flexibility, and versatility. One of the primary use cases for Redis is caching. By storing frequently accessed data in memory application, can retrieve it quickly, reducing the need to fetch send data from slow disparate database. This can significantly improve the overall performance of applications. Now we will see differences between Redis Cache and Mean Cache. So first, data structure and features. Redis is more than just a simple key value stored. It is often referred to as a data structure server. And Mean Cache, Mean Cache on the other hand is a straightforward key value store without the additional data types and features provided by Redis. Second is persistence. So in Redis, Redis offers persistence options allowing you to persist data to the disk. But in Mean Cache, Mean Cache is purely an in-memory caching solution and does not provide built-in persistence. Third is use cases. In Redis, due to its rich feature set, Redis is often used in scenarios that require advanced data structure and operations. And in meme cache is generally used when the primary requirement is a simple key value store for caching purposes. So now we'll see the prerequisites. Before you begin, you should have the following prerequisites in your place. First, you'll need an Amazon Web Service account. If you don't have one, you can sign up for a free AWS account. Basic knowledge of AWS services and concepts, Visual Studio on the system, and Ashikov Terraform extension. You can download it from the official Terraform website. So we'll begin. How to create Redis cluster in AWS using Terraform. So the steps for the implementation to this project are 
Let's create the following organizational structure as shown. So first, create a folder, Terraform Redis DB, which we have already created. And in that, we'll create four files in your Terraform MariaDB. Variables.tf, Terraform.tf was main.tf and output.tf. Okay. So I'll give you a short explanation. Variables.tf. In Terraform, the variables.tf file is used to declare and define variables that can be referenced in your Terraform configuration files and variable declaration. This is where you define your variables using the variables keyword followed by the variable name. For example, and adapter. So you see Terraform.tf first. In Terraform, the Terraform.tf first file is used to store input variable and their values in the key value pair format. This file allows you to set values for variables using Terraform configuration without hard putting them directly in the Terraform files. Main.tf. In Terraform, main.tf is a default and convention name for main configuration file. This file is where you define the infrastructure resources and their configuration using a default configuration name. Main.tf is a naming convention, not a strict record. Inside main.tf, you specify the resources you want to create and their configuration using Terraform syntax. Main.tf can also include declarations for variables and outputs. Here is a basic example of what a simple main.tf file might look like. So, this is an example for main.tf. The outputs are In Terraform, the outputs.tf file is used to define output values that can be displayed after the execution of the Terraform configuration. This file allows you to expose specific information about the resources you have created or modified during the Terraform run. In the output.tf file, you define one or more output blocks. Using output.tf enhances the usability and interpretability of your Terraform configuration by making information easily accessible. In this example, an output name example output is defined and its value is set to the ID of an AWS Elastic Cache cluster creating in the Terraform configuration. So this is the example. So now we will create a variables.tf file in Terraform it is db folder. So we'll enter the below code, create a variables.tf file. We'll copy this code and we will paste it in variables.tf file. So now after this, We'll create a variable. We'll create a terraform.tf was file in Terraform Redis DB folder. We'll copy this code and we'll paste in terraform. After this, we'll create a main.tf file in Terraform Redis DB folder. So we'll copy this code. Now we'll create an output.tf file in Terraform Redis DB folder. Outputs the elastic cache redis and points to confirm that they are clean. So we'll copy this, we'll paste it in output.tf file. After this, we'll mention our access key. We'll go to our console. We'll click on security credentials. Then go to access the section. Then we'll create access key. Now our access key is created. We'll copy the access key. And we'll paste it in Terraform.tf first file access key section. And we'll also copy the secret access key. And we will paste it. So after this, we will initialize and apply Terraform configuration. Open a terminal in the directory containing your main.tf file and run the following command. We'll 
our commanders were getting the initiatives. So now by running Terraform plan, we get a detailed list of these three categories, additions, modifications, and deletions. It's a way for you to revive and confirm that Terraform understands your intentions correctly. Now we'll enter command Terraform plan. Once you are satisfied with the plan, you can proceed to apply those changes using Terraform Apply. There's two steps. Process Terraform plan followed by Terraform Apply. Helps prevent unintended or accidental changes to your infrastructure. It gives you a chance to review and approve the proposed changes before Terraform makes any modification to your environment. So we'll type the command Terraform Apply Auto Approve. We will run it. So it will take some time. We have to wait. It will take time to create a resource. As you can see, it is creating a resource. So we have to wait for five to six minutes till all the resources have been created. As you can see, and our endpoint endpoint output is also created. So now we can go to your Elastic Cache console. Click on the Redis. As you can see, Elastic Cache Redis cluster has been created successfully. So, so now, so we'll run the following command to destroy your resources. Go to VS Code. We'll type Terraform destroy. This command will help us to destroy all your resources. We'll type yes. You can go and check it in your console that your resources have been destroyed. You would refresh. It is the status is deleting. So here we conclude. In this video, we have learned how to create Elastic Cache Redis cluster in AWS using Terraform and destroy it later to not to incur charges. So thank you everyone. See you all in the next video.